an Undead Nightmare, Cube World, and the Area 51 Raid. All on Geek This Week. This week in gaming, we caught a glimpse of some new Pokemon from the Gala region via a tweet from Poke Times. And a lot of people are back on board for Sword and Shield because of this handsome duck. Look at him. Look at the boy. The major change in design for these Pokemon might be the reason we aren't seeing a lot of the old Pokemon return to this game in the franchise. The dead are rising in Red Dead Redemption 2. There have been a couple of sightings of what appear to be zombies around the online world of Red Dead Redemption. Some are saying that it's a glitch. I choose to believe that Rockstar is working on Undead Nightmare 2! And with Halloween a mere month away, what better time to release a zombie-filled apocalypse onto the Old West online world? The next game announcement is a little niche, but has been a long time coming. Cube World has a release date and a trailer. Wally and his wife started this game way back in 2013, the same year we got the first teaser trailer for Cyberpunk 2077. After an alpha in 2013, Wally got DDoS and had a lot of stuff happen to him, causing his store to shut down and years of depression to follow. Now, 2019, he's back and he announced that Cube World will be coming out September 30th this year. I'm glad he stayed with it, and I can't wait for it to be released. This week in movies, the concept artist Jared S. Merentz recently shared an alternate look for the Ravager Taser face from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. This version being a lot sleeker and significantly more menacing, and if Guardians was a more serious movie, this concept might have been selected. But I find it difficult to see this version getting teased about his choice of name without skinning Rocket alive. I mean, look at that knife! <laughs> This week in tech, a weird gummy bear-like fish has been discovered off the coast of Antarctica. After trawling the ocean floor for several days, scientists managed to catch a slimy specimen. As Nerdist writer Michael Walsh points out, Antarctica is where the thing comes from, and now we might all be doomed if this creature turns out to be an evil monster from outer space. And they have only been able to find one of these creatures. If we are all doomed, I'm just glad I could let everyone know about it. IBM is planning on launching a 53-qubit quantum computer, pushing their quantum computing efforts to new heights. The new computer will be a part of IBM's Quantum Computation Center in New York State, which was just recently announced. This new center is set to be the host of the new 53-qubit quantum computer, as well as 520-qubit computers. IBM's goal is to allow quantum computing to be available beyond its isolated lab and reach the hands and minds of thousands of people, providing what Dario Gill calls the quantum advantage which is reaching a state, pun intended, where quantum computers can actually help with the solving of real problems that are not viable using traditional methods alone. A new mineral from Earth's mantle has been dug up. The mineral was unearthed from a volcano site in South Africa known as the, oh no, Coffee Fontaine, where diamonds are found to contain other minerals from hundreds of miles beneath the surface of the planet. One of the diamonds recently found had a dark green, opaque mineral that is estimated to come from over a hundred miles beneath our feet. Because the mantle is so thick, the lowest parts of it are difficult to study. The mineral has been bestowed the name Goldschmidtite and has high concentrations of neopium, potassium, lanthanum, and cerium. This particular find is exciting because it provides a snapshot of the fluid process that affect the deep roots of continents during the diamond formation. To read more about this, check out the link in the description below. In other news this week, the Area 51 raid happened even though the Facebook event was cancelled. Around 1,500 people showed up to the festival that hosted the musical group Wiley Savage. Around 150 people made the trip all the way to the gates of the military base to take selfies. No arrests were made though because no one tried to cross the fence. Praise the mothership! To the small towns around Area 51, the raid wasn't a joke though. They knew people would be coming, but they didn't know how many. So there was a lot of preparation to handle a potential of 30,000 people. The festival seemed to be entertaining for the people that did attend, though. We'll just have to wait to see if we're going to see this become an annual event. Well, that's all the news we got for this week. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that little bell icon so you're notified when we upload next week. Every Thursday. Every Thursday we upload news. You want to uh, you wanna go to Area 51 right next year? Sure. Right on. I'll book some rooms. You want to bring uh, water and snacks? Heck yeah. All right, let's see, uh, I'll see you there. Save some aliens next year too. Yeah.